And this other one is also dehydration, translates to dehydration. Chances of you getting uh, bacteria infection, they are high also. So we use these strips and we put uh, each strip in each container. And then you read your results against your colors. Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Aida Mungati, a health and science journalist using my YouTube channel to inform you on all my health has. Now, if you're a woman or you have a sister, daughter or any female in your life, this video is meant for you. Today, we focus on urinary tract infection or UTI as we know it better. And of course, we have an expert in the house. She's just going to help us in understanding UTI and most importantly, we're going to provide solutions to you. Dr. Karibu Sana. Thank you. Please Ma, just introduce yourself. To My name is Dr. Nora Kasio, a general practitioner at Holland Hospital um, at Arambe Avenue. Or, of course, in Nairobi. In Nairobi, <laughs> just in case we have someone who is not from around. Mm -hmm. uh, so, when we are looking at uh, urinary tract infection or UTI, as uh, we just said earlier mm -hmm. on, what exactly are we looking at or what's UTI? So, UTI in full mm -hmm. stands for urinary tract infection. Mm -hmm. It's a bacterial infection that affects your urinary tract. So, your urinary tracts consist of your kidneys, mm -hmm. your ureters your bladder and your urethra. Mm -hmm. So uh, then we have that bacteria. Mm -hmm. We have E. coli, we have Pseudomonas mm -hmm. and Klebsiella mm -hmm. that affects your system. Mm -hmm. yes. So in short, the bacteria that you've mentioned are the causes of UTI. Yeah, but the most common is E. coli. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And now uh, we have um, the signs now that our UTI come, comes with, if it's a lady, what are some of the telltale signs that they start feeling or experiencing for you to rule out that uh, now this is UTI? Okay. So most of the patients, they complain of burning sensation when they are peeing. So that one is called dysuria. Mm -hmm. Then we have frequency. Then we have urgency, the urge to pee, mm -hmm. even when your bladder is empty. Mm -hmm. Then we have some people present with suprapubic pain, mm -hmm. others will have flank pains, mm -hmm. others will have fevers, mm -hmm. and others will present with chills, mm -hmm. and then others will have smelly urine. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so with the burning sensation, that's when now uh, you feel like itching is itching. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, and uh, what organ exactly are we talking about so that uh, we just make it clear uh, to those at home that are watching? So we are talking about the urethra mm -hmm. and then your vagina in general. Mm -hmm. yes. So for the signs, they then present uh, themselves either on the urethra or the vagina. Yeah. All right. Is, yes. it, is it the topping, like uh, the, the surface of the vagina, or are we talking about the, the interior part? Some will complain on the surface that they are itching, mm -hmm. others interior. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. And now, when a lady comes to you with these signs, how would you say, now the diagnosis part of it, how exactly would you say that uh, this is a urinary tract infection, or probably this is more severe when you're now looking at uh, the sexually transmitted Okay, so for the UTI, for you to rule out that this person has UTI, you must have your clinical signs and symptoms and your lab investigation. Mm -hmm. So for the lab, you send them for something called urinalysis. Then we have a dipstick and others who can do for them urine culture. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. And uh, just before you take us through, of course, uh, the diagnosis bit of it during, uh, the, using the samples that we have here, mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, the issue where a lady will complain that I, I probably used a public toilet or I used a toilet and uh, that was the cause of my UTI. How exactly do these two connect? Okay, so we have the risk factors that lead to UTI. So one is being female. When you're female, because you're your anatomy, because of your anatomy, uh, your retras are very short. That's why when a female is using a toilet, all of us, mm -hmm. we've experienced that. Mm -hmm. You will have that thing of splashing. Okay. Then you feel like water. And then two mm -hmm. to three days, you start itching. itching. Yes. Okay. Is there, is there maybe something that can be done when you're using a public toilet? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that one will come at the, the prevention solution. part. Of, okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. 
you can just take us through now the samples that you have. Okay, so here we have, so when you're sending uh, patients for urinalysis, you give them this urine bottle. Okay. They are going to put their samples there. Mm -hmm. So what you can see with your naked eye is called gross macroscopy, macroscopy. Okay. This is what you can see with your naked eye. So for normal urine, it's supposed to be colorless. Okay. This very clear, like very water. clear. Yeah. Okay. If you drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. this is what you're supposed to. It's supposed to come out. Yes. All right. So if uh, if someone is, if someone's urine is this clear, yeah. the chances of them like having UTI is almost zero. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then next we have something called cloudy urine. This one is also sometimes when you smell it, it will have a smell. Okay. So this one translates to proteins. This one. So when you do your dipstick, mm -hmm. proteins here will be there will be plus plus mm -hmm. and WBCs will be plus plus. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then this one, mm -hmm. this one you can see it's almost clear. Mm -hmm. So this one is dehydrated. The person is not taking a lot of water okay. properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for, for for the three samples that you have in here, uh -huh. just from an expert's point of view, which one would you rule uh, maybe uh, the chances of this particular individual probably having a UTI is high, the chances of this individual, how exactly would you care? Okay, from this one, mm -hmm. this one would be having high content okay. of bacteria infection okay. because you can see it's also forming cloudy mm -hmm. on it. Okay. Then this one mm -hmm. would be mild, oh, yeah, okay. to moderate. Okay. Then this one you can find or not find mm -hmm. with this one. Okay. Yes. And you also have this. Like then after this one, this is now we use this one to do something called a deep stick. Mm -hmm. So you pick one strip like this. Mm -hmm. So you dip in each of the urine mm -hmm. separately. Mm -hmm. So this one will have this. Mm -hmm. The second one will have its own strip, and the third one. Mm -hmm. Then you read your measurements mm -hmm. according to your color like colors yes all right yeah okay so which for, for the colors uh, just to probably understand for the colors that are there here uh, -huh. uh let me let me just pick any color let me pick like blue okay so this one is for specific gravity okay yeah maybe now it's according to the pH, all right. almost pH of the of the urine. The urine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so I hope that uh, you're learning, yeah, from us, of course, with the help of a uh, uh, Dr. Nora right here with the general practitioner. Right now, let us now get to the uh, solution bit of it. Of course, I know that's exactly uh, what you are waiting for. Let us just uh, look at uh, now. You've already diagnosed this person that. Uh, uh, they they are having a uh, urinary tract infection. How? What are the solutions that are on the table? Okay. So apart from the common one that you give medication, mm -hmm. you also give them a takeaway information okay. they can use. Okay. So for these patients, mm -hmm. you educate them on hydration. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to drink a lot of water mm -hmm. so they can empty. They once you feed, you flush out the bacteria okay. if it was remaining. Mm -hmm. Then second of all, you practice safe, healthy hygiene, mm -hmm. especially for the toilets. Okay. So for a lady, we're not supposed to wipe from back to front, mm -hmm. but we're supposed to wipe from front mm -hmm. to back. Okay. Yes. What is the importance of that? Like what what does it what does it reduce or what does it uh how how what's the important okay. importance of it? So when you wipe from back, mm -hmm. okay, the most the dirtiest place in our bodies is mm -hmm. the anus. Yeah. So if you're wiping, you're mm -hmm. bringing your bacteria mm -hmm. close to your vagina, mm -hmm. and we've already said our our thing. Mm -hmm. Sorry, our private part is mm -hmm. open. Okay. So if I wipe, I'm going to bring all the bacteria into the vagina. Okay. Yes. All right. So we wipe from front, front to back. back. That's how we avoid. Okay. Yes. All right. Then another thing is about uh, when you're having sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. for a lady, you're advised to drink water and you pee. Once you're done with the activity, you're okay. supposed to pee. Mm -hmm. If you had any bacteria around it, mm -hmm. then it's going to to lessen the 
severity of the illness. All right. Yeah. So after a sexual intercourse, you are supposed to pee. You pee. Okay. Yes. Okay. And also take water. And also take water. All right. Uh, another thing is for uh, we are supposed to also have something called probiotics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one you can either take probiotics yogurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or another thing is you can also take cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, another advice that we are going to give the patient is called the four C's. Mm -hmm. So once they're given the medication, the first C is for compliance. Mm -hmm. Then we have to do contact tracing mm -hmm. for those ones that are sexually active. Mm -hmm. Then we are also supposed to provide uh, uh, condoms for those people that are sexually active. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the issue of the uh, urinary tract infection can can also be caused by let me say by a sexual intercourse yes. from from your part from, from your partner. That's why when you're treating one partner, you're supposed to also give medication to the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I think that's a very important thing that you mentioned. Would you say treating one partner and not treating this other partner would uh, result to the, the recurrent urinary tract? Yes, because what if the other partner is the carrier? Sometimes uh, it's the same thing. If you're treating this um, partner, you don't know the, what they are doing because once you're given medication, you don't see the patient. They'll come later, mm -hmm. they tell you the symptoms are back. So for you to do a proper treatment, you're supposed to do the labs for both of them mm -hmm. and then you treat both partners. All right. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you so much for that. I think I've uh, allowed the solution a little bit uh, uh, more. So, just in summary, mm -hmm. maybe you can just um, tell us probably just a takeaway mm -hmm. to uh, the ladies that are that are watching, or the women, or any other person uh, that is watching, just how to to prevent a urinary tract infection and any other thing that you want to add. Okay, okay. so for this UTI, I always advise ladies to keep their private parts clean and then they should know the they practice the safe hygiene uh, measures, mm -hmm. the wiping front to back. Mm -hmm. And then if you're having many sexual partners, mm -hmm. you're supposed to use protection. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, let me give an opportunity to tell us uh, more about Poland Hospital mm -hmm. and uh, just where you're located in case someone wants to see you. Okay, so Poland Hospital uh, is located at Embassy House, first floor, and along Arambi Avenue. Mm -hmm. So we have um, pharmacy, mm -hmm. we have uh, radiology, where we do our x rays, mm -hmm. we also have our uh, triage. And we also have our doctor's consultation mm -hmm. and feel free to come yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah all right thank you so much dr nora thank you for your time and most importantly i thank you for just helping us uh, understand more about the urinary tract infection as well as just as a solution i understand it is almost all women yes. <laughs> yeah have um, undergone or have experienced a urinary tract infection so thank you so much mm -hmm. for that you're welcome all right, uh, that's all we had for you on this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope that uh, this has been of uh, help to you. So don't be selfish. So tell a friend to tell a friend that, uh, of course, on this YouTube channel, we have these solutions when it comes to urinary tract infection. Once again, as I just for tuning in, my name is Aida Muzati, and as I always say, your health matters all. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.